Hi everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Modern Skyblock 2. Uh, you may be asking yourself, what is that strange cube HP has behind him that exists between islands? Uh, that question, and many others, like how am I walking on this water, will be answered in this episode. I'm walking on the water because of the boots I got last time. The waders, they let me walk on water unless I shift. Aha. They also let me walk on lava. So I've removed the fence from the top of that so that I can make more demon ingots if need be. That being said, this is sort of the basis for what we're going to be doing this episode. We're going to be working on infrastructure. And in particular, we are going to be working on power. So we glanced at the engineer's manual in the previous episode. And also, uh, where's my class book? There you are. Also, we were looking at the quests that we were going to be doing, and in the case of the Immersive Technology line of quests, we have some stuff to do. Uh, in no small part, uh, making power. So we have a few items we want to craft. We have more items we want to craft. Really, we just have a ton of items to craft, and we're going to do exactly that. I have prepared. Oh, I didn't use that crafting table? Huh. Thought I did. Oh well. I have prepared a number of things for what we're working on this episode. Looking forward to this one. But let's just go down the line. First of all, we have steel, which means we can make cauldrons. I have made two of those. I'm going to need one as a cauldron and one for other purposes. We also have porcelain bricks arranged in here. This is one of those other purposes I was talking about. A porcelain casting basin was what we needed in order to complete the basic casting quest way back over here. So we're going to go ahead and claim that and say done. Ooh, that unlocks a couple of other quests, I believe. Mm, we don't have basic melting yet. We need main gems for that. But we could make hot wood or uh, the consecrated dirt, I think is what that is. We'll come back to those in a moment. Additionally, for the infrastructure purposes today... Hmm... Sorry, I got distracted by this, this, this loot box. Let's put the loot chest here. And what we're going to do is we will open up all of the loot boxes at the end of each episode as opposed to opening them up as we, uh, as we progress. Kinetic dynamos. Those were part of one of the quests that we needed. Additionally, we need to make a water wheel and a windmill. The water wheel, well, it takes a lot of resources. A lot of treated wood, a lot of treated sticks. And each, uh, each one of these is only one-eighth of what we need to make one of these, which, now that I think about it, I have not made enough of these. I'll have to come back to that. Why is that not making... Uh... Oh, no, I did make enough of these. It's only four, not eight. Ha-ha! I was much smarter in the past. Okay, so we have six water wheels. Additionally, we have the things we need to make eight windmill blades which is what is required to make a single windmill. Ooh, using kinetic energy. That's another quest completed. This time back on the immersive technology quest line. Let's just go ahead and claim that and done. And we're gonna go ahead and throw that loot chest in there as well. We also need to make wooden posts, which you'll see the reasoning for making so many in just a moment. And wooden wall mounts. That allows us to get the upper hand, which is this quest right here. And then we need to make, uh, it says we need to make a small amount of those. I have a reason for making eight. Let's go ahead and stash the loot chest. And is there room in here to stash just random junk? There is, okay. Making room for the things I actually want. I'm gonna make eight capacitors which 
I also need to make... Oh, th this was for another quest, generating electricity. I'm only making one of these because I was reading about electricity in the... Uh, ooh, uh, yeah. In the Magnetic Craft book, and I don't really like it. So we'll come back to that. I'm sure we have quests to do in that, but in the meantime, we're focusing on the Engineer's Manual. We're also going to need some wire relays and some wire connectors. If you have not played with engineer, uh, immersive engineering before, these are used to uh, run wires to multiple locations. These actual connectors, however, are what you need at the end point to transfer the power, both from the source and into the final block. So we've got those ready to go. And we'll come back to this. Okay. So... That brings us to the cube. We are gleaning the cube. The cube is something I designed in a test world, and I think it's going to allow us some freedom when it comes to what we're doing with electricity. Or uh, No, in this case, not electricity. Um, something like electricity. Okay. Now, I believe the top of these is by default an input. Yes, okay, cool. So let's go ahead and pick this one back up. So these are for power storage. We're also going to need the hammer to switch that to, ooh, uh, there we go. Input and input. That's all very important because in the middle of these goes our kinetic dynamo. And we're going to rinse and repeat on this side with, huh, interesting. As soon as I placed it, it became non-stackable. Okay, and hammer. I'm really good at putting the item I need back in my inventory. Also, I could just switch which inventory bar I have, but I am not used to that yet. Now, where'd that hammer go? On two, there we go. Input. Input, input, okay. Kinetic dynamo. So, on each side we have two, we have a kinetic dynamo with four batteries surrounding it. We are going to place water wheels. Oh, what? Excellent. Uh, and as I look at this, I realize I'm going to need to put an additional floor on here. Now, the Immersive Engineering Manual, specifically when it comes to... Oh, wrong button. Uh, powers, wires, and generators. Where did it go? Overview and resources. Why is there not a search function on this thing? Simple machines. Water wheel. Kinetic dynamo. Kinetic dynamo. Was it in this quest book? Oh, hey, generating electricity. Let's go ahead and claim and say done. Now, uh, da, 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 water is flowing over them. Well, you're going to have to take this on faith. Water wheels can be stacked up to three connected to the same kinetic dynamo. And... Whoa. Seem to be having trouble placing the third one here. Huh. There we go. All right, we also have this windmill. We'll come back to that. And let's go get some blocks for the floor. This is important because water wheels depend on water flowing on all sides in order to generate the most power. What's a good block to use for this? Hmm. Let's go ahead and use a block of Inferium Essence because I'm not using it for anything else. I'm sure I won't regret this later. Also, I'm sure I won't regret the choice to use an ugly green block. Two, three. Do I have a wand? I do. Go ahead and break that. And, ha, da, 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 da. 
that's interesting. Uh, that was a new noise that I've never heard before. Did I accidentally move one of the water wheels? I don't know. Okay. Well, we're gonna need this. And this is why this is open topped. So, let's go ahead and place our water in. Excellent. And this side. Bam, bam, and bam. Now we should see our water wheels turning at this point. A little bit of a spill, but that's expected. Got to plug the hole. Ta-da! And... <sighs> I'm not very good with block placement, apparently. Okay, there we go. And let's get a torch down out here. For completeness sake. There we go. So, we are now generating power. It's feeding out to the bottom first. I'm hopeful that it will feed out to the others afterwards. This is a low voltage capacitor, so... We did set these other ones to input, yes? Yes, I'm gonna go with yes. All right. Now the other thing that I would uh, would want to do is run the power everywhere. That is where these come in, wooden posts. So to me, these look like power poles personally. So we're going to get everything set up to actually get the power run from place to place. To do that, we are going to shift things just a little bit. Put that there. Can we... We can attach a torch to that. That... I actually really dig that. That's cool. Uh, that one's full. Okay, now it's feeding the top. Hopefully it feeds to the sides afterwards. It may only feed to the top and bottom, in which case we'll need to run wiring. But we're going to run wiring anyway, so that's not a problem. On top of this, we're going to want a wire relay, which... Hey, look, blocks. When I designed this, I will admit to doing it in creative, so I was not thinking about climbing. Okay, wire relay there. Wire connectors here. Oh, uh... And to do that, we need to make this side an output. There we go. All sides are outputting. And I forgot my cabling. I did make copper wire cabling. I just don't know where I stashed it. So you get to watch me run around like an idiot with... Oh, I should put my loot chest in there. Uh, run around like an idiot with his head cut off, is what I was going to say. Chicken with his head cut off, or run around like an idiot. Those were the real options. Okay. You don't want to make more copper wire immediately, because it's not super cheap. There it is. LV wire coil. Perfect. And this design was uh, built mostly so I could see the water wheels in action and have them spinning in opposite directions. It all just makes me very happy. Hello, torch. Okay. So let's just... What? Those are MV connectors. And I have LV wire. Well... MV wire takes electrum. You know, I think I was actually prepared for this. I think. Because... Yep. Okay. I did make electrum. Nope, that's another quest, too. Uh, and I think we have a... Oop, uh, I think we have a quest that's going to need the alloy furnace as well. So we'll swing back around to that in just a moment. Where does Electrum live in here? That's a good question. There's one. Done. 
And yeah, we need to make invar, which I believe is two nickel to one iron. Might be the other way around. But we have some nickel here. Let's go ahead and do that. And let's just grab a bunch of iron. And let's run over and get that to work. So, infrastructure. Because we are now entering the age of machinery. And we're going to need to be able to run power everywhere on the base. I am hungry. Potato on a stick time. Okay. Potatoes are better when they're on a stick. All right. Let's see. Let that cook up. Let's go make up some plates and some wires, I suppose. Uh, to do that, we're going to need our wire cutters, which we already grabbed. Excellent. Really ahead of the curve here. Not really, but I like to pretend. Now, hopefully, we're able to... Well, I can make steel plates. Huh. You know, I kind of want to know. Come on, mouse. There we go. LV wire connect. Oh, it takes copper. That makes sense. All right. Well, do I have anything that can turn this into a plate? I don't have a rolling machine. I don't have a pressurizer, a fluid infuser, manufactory. Casting... Hmm. Uh, actually, let's let's make this, and then I want to see what this does. Actually, so plate. Okay, electrum plate. So how would we cast that? That's that version. Okay, we can cast it, and to do that, we need a plate cast, which we can make with any type of plate. Well, interesting. So we have basic melting. No, we have basic casting. We don't have basic melting. Let's go ahead and claim that. Let's see. We don't have basic melting yet because we don't have main gems. Main gems is over here, and that is with one of each of these, which we need to crush rock to get, I believe. Well, you know, I had a whole thing planned, and now I don't have the right wire to do it. And I can't make the right wire to do it. So let's see if we can't get to the point where we can make that wire, I suppose. That is our new goal for the episode. So we're up to five loot boxes, about to be six. And I do have a rock crusher in my hand, so that's good for me. Good for me. Uh, invar, okay. Looks like it's two iron to one nickel. Uh, let's go ahead and collect that quest as well while we're here. Done. Uh, that was in Reborn Mods. Okay, claim and done. And let's get some stone I think we need to crush to get real stuff. So, one, two, three, four. And hut da 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 And where's that wand? There we are. One, two, three, four, five, six. And let's see what happens. We are getting wet stuff. Or not wet stuff, but uh, dirty stuff. I don't know. One of these chests has some room in it, dang it. It must. This one. Ha ha. All right. What dirty ruby. Dirty coal. 
jam all that in there. Uh, don't need that right now. Let's take the cauldron and put it down over here next to the water. Because that's where we're going to need it here in just a moment. Still not quite. What else can we... Sorry, we don't need sticks. Dirty black quartz. Excellent. That's good news for us. All right. Let's just throw the thermopile in there. And we still have dirty emerald and something on the ground there. At least I hope that's dirty emerald. Uh, this and... Let's go run and throw this other thing in there. I don't know why I need these main gems in order to get basic melting, but I probably need a gem of some variety for it. So let's go ahead and get it sorted out here. And of course, there's new, still new types of stuff. Ah! Okay, glass cutter go away, and uh, chisel. Get out of my inventory, chisel. Okay. Whew, hopefully we're able to make a storage system soon. Dirty agate. Can I put water in here? No. Hmm. How am I supposed to fill this with water? Interesting questions for an interesting time. Water. All right, I will be right back. I am going to find a way to fill this cauldron with water. You know, I think I have been playing modded Minecraft too long. I didn't think to use... You know, a bucket. Hey, look, it works. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and. I have crushed stone as well. Excellent. All right, we have lapis. You know, this should be the bucket. That would be smart. All right. This is going to unlock some real doors for us, though. Some machinery and such. I'm confident. Okay. Oh, I made the advancement's first age. Uh, yeah, just put that water in there and take it back out again over and over again. That's real smart, you. Okay. Dirty Certus Quartz. Okay. Agate, I think is what this is. Appetite, right. And do I have any other dirty stuff? Doesn't look like it. What can this be used for? Oh, it'll clean into pulverized metal. Interesting. Okay, we will circle back around to that idea. Now, if we look at our quest book, that pulverizing got us something. It got us everything except nether quartz, which I think we need to pulverize netherrack to get. So let's go ahead and store the gems that we just got in here, as well as our crushed sky stone. And I believe I have some netherrack ready to go right over here. Fingers crossed. Yeah, netherrack. Excellent. And let's go ahead and throw it down and crush it. Okay. Uh, 
good. And crusher. All right. There's our nether quartz. We also got some crushed netherrack, which we can clean into cobalt dust, ardite dust, and other stuff at a very, very, very small chance. Okay, that being said, main gems now complete. Claim and done, which should have unlocked basic melting. We need to make a porcelain melter and a porcelain tank for that. Why did those take gems? Porcelain melter takes da -da -da, a porcelain tank as well. Which takes quartz glass, okay. Which takes quartz and glass, okay. That would do it. So how much surface quartz did we get? Ten. Can we crush it? Can we make glass without crushing it? Uh, surface quartz dust can be gotten by running. No. Uh, can be gotten by using a crusher. Boy. Really, really didn't have a big plan here. All right. Well. Let's go ahead and... Oh, didn't mean to open that. I got walrus. Uh, what? I got walrus? Yes, I did. Why did I get walrus? Oh. Um. Oh, okay. Okay. Walrus. Sure. Uh, let's see here. Certus quartz dust is gotten by crushing Certus quartz crystal. Okay. And to do that, we can use a crusher, which takes a Restonia crystal, which takes an atomic reconstructor, which we can actually make. Hello. All right. Or, or I could make some clay. I will be right back. I'm going to finish crushing this up, make some clay, make some low voltage connectors, and I will be right back one more time. All right, we're back, and I have gotten the stuff I need to make a couple of low voltage uh, connectors and relays here. And we are going to try this again, but this time with the proper tools. So let's go ahead and get these broken down here. Excellent. Uh, oh, good. All of them did fill up. That's good news for us. And let's go ahead and see if we can't make this jump. Uh, yeah. Got it. Okay. Sweet. Wire relay. That's the low voltage one. Yes. Wire relay. And four connectors. Okay, that will allow us to actually connect these wires, I hope. Yes, excellent. Now we have all four of these batteries feeding into this power line. From there, we're going to want to run additional power lines. I'm thinking one here. Let's get this torch and make it all fancy. Okay, then we will put one. I'll probably replace this block later, but we'll put one. You know, I think. 
I think that we can reach here. So, fancy torch. Okay. And relay. Relay. Okay. And the question is, is this blocked? If so, I'll need to add a connector in the middle. It is obstructed. Okay. That's okay, because that's what we have the wall mounts for. Just go. Well. Hmm. Remember to press shift, everybody. Oh, half a heart. All right, be right back. And back. Sorry about that. My fall from the sky happened to coincide with something happening in real life that I had to attend to. All right, let's go ahead and get this sorted out here. I think that we put that, whoop, put that there. We come back up to the top here and get a wire relay on here. Nope, ah, ah. And let's go ahead and run the cables. Uh, do ba ba. Take that and run it over here. Oh, nope, can't quite make it. Okay. Let's add another one then. I'm thinking that we'll just add one of these, actually. Oop. There we go. Out of curiosity, can we... Okay, we can rotate it like that. Cool. All right. And grab that and link it to here. This, link it to here, and let's run some more. You know what, actually, let's go ahead and take one of these. Let's break it so it runs out of power. And we're gonna move it over here temporarily. We're just gonna take it and we're gonna throw it down right here. No power, but we're gonna put a connector on there and we are going to run power from here to here, and whoop. that's a medium voltage connector. We can do this, I swear. And throw that on there, and connect. Excellent. And that now has full power. That happened really fast, actually. Huh. All right. So. That's how that works. Now, on to the last thing that I wanted to do this episode that I find uh, to be very fun when I tried it out in my test world, and that I think will inform how we get around the world going forward. The Engineer's Skyhook. Those of you familiar with the Bioshock series of games may already know what's going on here, but... Ha-ha! Travel via power line. Oh, I suffocating myself we're good we're good and down ha <laughs> ha yes okay so the plan is to run power lines around the entire base at least anywhere where they might be uh, useful for power and also one to each island and we will have the option of traveling using the skyhook that being said that is all we have time for for today so let's go ahead and go drop everything off in a chest here uh, da, 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 da. Not enough room. Let's make a new chest. Uh, you. Get out of there. Okay. And. Chest. That's how you make a chest, right? There we go. Did we not make the chest?
Game, please. Okay. Let's try that again. Any chests in here? No? Okay. Just take a bunch of spruce. Spread the grid. Make some chests. I'm so confused. Okay. We'll just throw everything in one of the chests over here. Tss. That thing is really loud. Okay. Any room in this chest? Yes. I'm very confused by what... Oh, hey, there were chests in that chest, weren't there? There were. Excellent. All right, chest, chest. Get in here. All of this. And with the exception of our new walrus buddies down there, Let's see what we uh, let's see what we got, what we got this episode. More Zoe. Uh, some Twilight Forest bugs. Some drops. A diamond cutting knife. Experiment one one five. Appears to be some sort of cake. And some nocturnal powder. Nocturnal powder is trouble. All right. That is all we have time for for today. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the episode. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye. Uh,